起床了，快起来呀，快！ Hello. Don't usually go to bed like this, but I was just in one of my Jack Nicholson moods. I look like him a bit. See what I mean? Do you remember him in that film, The Shining, when he was banging his way through that door with that pickaxe? Here's Johnny. Daddy's home. Do you remember? I felt sorry for that bloke that had to drive all that way through that snow for hours and hours. And then when he got to the hotel, he took about six steps inside the hotel and he got a pickaxe through his heart. I was so upset for that man. Anyway, I better get up now. There we are. Nice shave there. It's the latest twin blade model. I don't know what it's called, a turbo something. There we are. Shaves it so close you can do the back of your neck at the same time. Ridiculous. Brush my teeth now. I don't know whether you do things in this order, but this is the way I work in the bathroom. See the way I do a circular motion? You're supposed to go up and down, apparently, but you know, I like breaking rules now and then. See that gap there? Dentist took that tooth out about 20 years ago. He said, take this one out. He said, they'll move round because you've got an overcrowded mouth. And they didn't move at all. They just said, oh, we like it at the front. We're not moving. Tell you what annoys me in the bathroom. Cheap toilet paper. Look. The edges don't line up. You have to, the serrated edges. So you have to sort it all out before you can use it. Really, it makes me cross, it does. Thought I'd show you this this wig. I used to wear a wig. This is it. Makes me look really young, doesn't it? Everyone used to call me Sunny. <laughs> well, actually, my wife made me stop wearing it. You know, people have beards. Bald people have beards to make them look less bald. Did you know that? So you sort of, sort of, they they always walk. If you notice these bald people with beards, they always walk a bit down like that. So this this looks like their face. You know, this bald bit here, and they sort of. Like paint eyes on here, draw eyes on, you know. Bring the eyes out, I think. They should just walk along like that. <laughs> oh well, go and get some breakfast now. Breakfast television. Don't bother watching it. Might as well watch a blank screen, it's more entertaining. TV AM's the worst. Jimmy Greaves telling us all how to live our lives. Then you've got Mike Morris, the one with the pink shirt. You know the one I mean? He's a cocky so-and-so. And the cockiest of them all is the, the girl who does the weather, Eureka. Stand to attention, everyone, I'm on. You know the one? Dear, oh dear. And Richard Keyes, you seen Richard Keyes? The, the one with the black hair and the hairy hands. Horrible hairy hands, put you off your breakfast. He's got that little penny slot mouth. Oh, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to go on TV AM as a guest, have a gun and shoot them all, and just go up to the camera and say, that's all for today. These are nice. You know they say a watch kettle never boils. load of rubbish, isn't it? See these new round tea bags. Mm. Looks like a jellyfish, doesn't it? It's put me right off tea. Here's a tip for you. If your iron ever breaks down, get a saucepan, boil a kettle, fill it with hot water, put the lid on it, <coughs> and iron with that. Very successful. You know when you're washing rice, you're supposed to wash it through about five or six times. The water gets all cloudy and you replace it with fresh water. It took me a week to wash the rice once. And by Wednesday, all the dinner guests had gone home. You know when you're toasting brown bread? 
How do you know when it's done? Do this every morning, it's good for dandruff, good for your hair, lovely and clean. I'm off now. Bye, darling. Bye. Bye-bye. What have I got to get today? A couple of light bulbs, and you're going to fill that hole in the bedroom. And get a filler knife as well. Yeah. And there's something else I've got to do as well. Something else I can't remember yes. what it was. We're making a television programme. Tea it. bags, darling. Tea bags. Tea bags. Tea bags. Bye-bye. Bye. Looks like rain. Oh no. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh no. That's even worse. Beastie Boy fans still exist. Looks like it's been shot. Great start to the day. Beautiful, isn't it? You know answer machines? I've got an answer machine. Say you're out all day, or you get back late at night, and on the answer machine it's got naught. That means you haven't had one single phone call. I mean, if you haven't got an answer machine, you can think, well, I've had loads of calls, I expect, but too bad, I'm a busy man, you know. So what I do now is I give myself a ring, leave a message, usually invite myself to a party, something like that, you know. But I don't go to the party, I mean, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> you know when you order wine at a restaurant and they give you a little bit in the glass and you're supposed to taste it, and you get the nouveau riche type of person who'll be really arrogant about it and go, Mm, I can accept this. But I, I'm not like that. I mean, I just say, fill it up. I mean, if it's off, it's off, isn't it? That's it. I mean, the whole bottle's got to go back anyway. I mean, it'd be funny if they started doing that in pubs, wouldn't it? If you said, uh, you want to try some beer, and they just gave you a bit in a glass, and you tried it, and said, no, I don't like that one, I'll have that one. And I mean, you could end up, you know, you could end up having free drinks in over about three or four pubs in the evening. You know? Oh, look. A square eel dish. They're history now, aren't they? You know when you watch a football match on television, they always seem to show a close-up of a player spitting. I mean, I just hope it doesn't spread into other programmes, like news reading. And that was the end of the news. <laughs> or the weather forecast. So it's going to be wet there tomorrow. Oh, it's windy today, isn't it? Wind is the least favourite weather for me. Horrible. I mean, you can't see it, it just attacks you from all sides. If you could see it, it'd be better, wouldn't it? Say it, it was green or something. But the trouble is, if it was green, you wouldn't be able to see where you're going because you could have all this green in front of you. So I suppose it's got to stay as it is, really. Still, there you are. Like caterpillars, aren't they? Look, that one's just had some babies. Shame about the spots. Ostrich from the Canary Islands. Came over for a visit, liked it so much. Decided to stay. Still here. Oh, look at this plant here. What a beauty. 200 years old. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Can't have a party like we have parties. Can't have a magician round to entertain you. But your luck's in today. Keep your eye on the rope. Keep watching. Rope in the hand. <laughs> Gone. And 
back again. Enjoy the rest of your day. These are strange plants. It's like desperate Dan's cow pie without the horns. And over here, got the flowers, look. Wild they are, they're all caged in. They must be quite mean. Ooh. I'm not scared of them anyway. <laughs> I love trees, don't you? Beautiful. Good thing about trees is that they don't have to go to work. Don't have to get up early to take the dog for a walk. They don't have to drive about in traffic jams. Great, they don't have to shave. Look at that. Look how smooth. Couldn't get much smoother than that. I'd like to be a tree. In fact, I think I am going to be a tree. You can go and film something else. Go on, I, I'm not interested in all this television business and all that, all that rushing around. Go on, go and film something else. There's some plants up the road. I'm a tree now. Yeah, I'm swaying a bit. I'm taking root. I am a tree. Hello. Ah, good morning, sir. And uh, what can I do for you, sir? I'd like two of your best 60 watt light bulbs, oh, please. Certainly, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Pearl. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think about that one then, eh, sir? I like it very much. <laughs> oh. you can show me a better bulb than that, sir, then I will personally eat everything in this shop. What a beauty. It sort of has a glow within a glow, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so you're happy with them, are you, sir? Very happy. Ah, I'll take them. Jolly good, sir. <laughs> Jolly good. There we go, sir. I'm in a bag for you, sir. There we are, sir. And, uh, Take care of your bulbs. I will. <laughs> Goodbye and thanks for everything. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. <laughs> what a lovely man. I'm almost in tears. Why can't they all be nice like that? You go into those big lighting departments and the staff are really bad tempered and rude. Mind you, it's got a lot to do with all the lights and all the bulbs being on all the time and all the heat makes them hot and bothered, you see. That's what it is. Hang on. He hasn't charged me for the light bulbs. Excuse me, but you forgot to charge me for the light bulbs. I want you to have them, sir. Are you sure? Absolutely, sir. That's very kind of you. Oh. I know that you will look after those light bulbs, sir, because you care about them. Now, how many people can I say that about? Well, I expect there are others. None, sir. Really? No, oh, sir. It's a joy to have somebody like you in my shop, sir. Thank you very much, and it's a pleasure to have been in your shop. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. And, and come back soon. Waverley Station. I came up here once from London. I travelled on the sleeper, but I didn't sleep all the way. So I asked a man for my money back. And he said, if you stay around here much longer, you'll sleep permanently. I don't know what he meant by that, but you've got to ask, haven't you? A lot of people about, I don't like it when it's busy like this. People stopping in front of you without warning you. I think people should have brake lights fitted on the backs of their heads 
and I think people should do hand signals so they know if they're going left or right or, or slowing down or whatever. What I do, this is a trick I do, is I get into the slipstream of somebody who's wider than me so I can shelter behind them. Like this person here is ideal. Just walk behind them and I'm sheltered from the, the wind and it's a, it's a really good way to, to travel. Some you win, some you lose. Can I be of any assistance, sir? It's you, the light bulb man. Actually, sir, I don't believe we've met before. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. I'm, uh, I'm looking for a filler knife because uh, I've got a filler hole, so I need some filler as well, please. Oh. Would you like to follow me, sir? Not really. <laughs> Just follow me, sir. Hear that, sir? Hmm. Have you ever heard a better filler knife than that, sir? <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> this is the Rolls Royce of filler knives. I want one. Ah! <laughs> Calm down now, sir. Thanks very much. <laughs> Here is your filler, sir. Oh, I won't need all that. I've only got to fill a little hole, you see. Ah. How many small holes are you going to have to fill, sir, before your small life is ended, sir? Do you know something? I've never looked at it like that before. I'll take it. Thank you. Um, will I have to pay for them? But of course. Oh. It's a very sensible idea, this. Short people at this end, tall people at that end. Let me see, where am I? That halfway in the middle there. Oh, well, I can't sit here all day. It's nothing to do with me, it was the producer's idea. Pond. Ducks. I once heard an actor describe his performance similar to a duck. He said, smooth on the surface, relaxed, underneath, pedalling away. But I've got news for that actor. Ducks haven't got legs. They've got little engines. These are modern ducks. Just thought I'd have a bit of a rest. Nice and peaceful here, isn't it? Collect my thoughts before I go home. Norman Lovett, isn't it? That's me. I'd just like to say how much I admire your work. Oh, thank you. It's all about timing, isn't it? Yes. And luck. Well, like most comedians, I, I don't like to talk about myself, but uh, the early years were really hard. I mean, I just don't know how I survived. But obviously I have survived, and that's why I'm sitting here now. But some days, Oh, it'd be awful. There'd be no audience at all. It'd be terrible. And let me tell you something. One of the most... Come on, off you go. We're closing. Come on, off you go, you horrible little man. Come on, on your bike.
strange. That was the light bulb man again. I think he had my penguin under his arm there. Yeah? I'm going to check when I get home, because if that is my penguin, I'll come back and he'll be in trouble. And who was that weird bloke talking to me with the glasses and the coat? Strange. I think I should have got more than two light bulbs, really. I don't know why I need all this filler. It's far too much. <laughs>